Hey, I'm Brian with Indie Coffee Roasters, and today I'm gonna show you how to do a pour over. Now, a pour over is a great way to make a single cup of coffee because you do it by hand. So you've got full control over the entire brewing process. Um, they're really not scary or intimidating like some people may think. They're really just a lot of fun. So yeah, everything you need is gonna be right here. You're gonna need the pour over device itself, something to brew into. Uh, you can even use your cup. You're gonna need some coffee, of course, um, preferably whole bean. In that case, you're gonna need a grinder as well. You're gonna need a kettle, preferably a gooseneck kettle with some hot water. And then, uh, you know, filters for the corresponding pour over device. So I'm gonna start by just pre-wetting my filter. Uh, you do that just by saturating the filter with a little bit of hot water. And this just removes that papery taste. And at the same time, that's gonna be preheating your brewing vessel underneath, which is kind of convenient. Then I'm gonna just set that aside and I'm gonna get my coffee and my dosing cup here. And I'm gonna put that dosing cup on the scale, tear it out and measure out 25 grams of coffee. And now when I grind this, I'm gonna grind it at kind of a medium to fine setting. Um, if one is absolutely fine and 10 is absolutely coarse, it's gonna be kind of a four, if you will. Okay, so now I've got my preheated brewing device. I've got my ground coffee. I'm gonna go ahead and put that into my filter here. I'm gonna tear out my scale so it's at zero. And then I'm gonna give this bed of coffee a little shake just to settle it all in there. All right, and we're ready to go. Um, so at the end of the day, we're gonna be putting in 375 grams of hot water into the coffee. Now we're gonna do that in four different stages. The first of which is called the bloom. Now to bloom your coffee, you're gonna take however many grams of ground coffee that you used, so in this case, 25 grams, you're gonna double that number and that's how much water you're gonna pour at the very first part of the brewing process. And as soon as water touches the coffee, I'm gonna start my timer, uh, just so I can check how long it took me to brew the coffee at the end of the day. So like I said, I'm gonna pour 50 grams of hot water onto the coffee to bloom it. And I'm gonna let that sit for about 40 seconds after I do that. And when I'm pouring that hot water, I'm gonna do it in kind of a slow circular motion and I'm gonna pour only onto the grounds. If you pour onto the filter, you know, that'll slip right past the coffee and not really do anything. Now I'm gonna pour my remaining amount of water after the bloom in thirds. So if I pour 50 grams and I'm gonna end with 375 grams, I've got, you know, 325 to go. So I'm gonna break that up into just pouring a little over 100 grams every time. All right, so I'm gonna pour that 100, 100 plus grams in, and again, I'm gonna pour in a slow circular motion, only touching the grounds. You pour in that circular motion just to touch all parts of the grounds and not really hang out in one area too much and extract flavor over there more than the rest. And you're gonna wanna pour your water pretty close to the surface, um, you know, pretty low down there, just so it doesn't pour from too high and shoot past through the coffee and not really do anything again. When the water drips all the way through the coffee grounds, that's when I'm, I'm gonna pour my second third of, uh, you know, of hot water. But sometimes some pour over devices tend to kind of clog up. Make sure your filter is, you know, clear and not obstructing any flow. Okay, once that second third of hot water goes and trickles down through the coffee there, I'm gonna pour up to 375 grams of hot water. I'm gonna pour my last third of hot water, again, in a slow and circular motion. Now, we're looking for about a three and a half minute brew time. If we get to the end and this last third of water has trickled all the way through and it did that way under three and a half minutes, we know that it, you know, it brewed too fast. So you're gonna need to fine up your grind next time. A finer grind will equal a longer brew time. 
And if your coffee brewed you know, really slowly, if it took way longer than three and a half minutes, you're gonna wanna coarsen up your grind size. Okay, so our water is all dripped through in about three and a half minutes here. And then I'm gonna take my hot water here and I'm gonna preheat my cup that I'm drinking out of. Um, just so that, you know, when I put the coffee in there, it doesn't take all the heat away. And then I'm just gonna dump that preheating water and serve and enjoy. Thank you.